Welcome back to Houston Life. All right, so the last few days we've been covering ways to prevent your pipes from freezing, but even if you prepared, what if you're in the situation where your pipes actually froze? Yeah, how do you know if that's happened? What do you do if it has happened? We're so glad we have Mike Scher with Abacus Plumbing joining us today in studio because you have 24 years in experience as a plumber. You've been with Abacus for over a decade. Someone whose pipes are already frozen, I mean, what should they do right now? Well, well, obviously you have to focus on the preventive side of that. If you can run any water to help allow that, that freezing process to reset. Um, there are some other extreme things that you can do later on down the road, um, but really all you're trying to do is just buy that time to get up until the sun comes up. So. And Mike, how would you even know? Because a lot of us turned off the water, like for our sprinkling system outside, or even other areas where you can close those valves and drain them. At this point, we might have damage that we're not aware of quite yet, is that right? Correct, I mean, you may see fluctuations in pressure. Um, you may see if you have some of the older piping, the steel piping, galvanized piping that was in the walls. Um, you may see a little bit more rusty scale or, or some slower flow uh, coming through the pipes. Uh, and those are, those are the indications that we have water lines that are on an outside wall that may be getting too cold and that freezing process is starting. Okay, and allowing the faucets to drip is the one tip I feel like is maybe close to common knowledge, but we're just not used to this cold out here. So what are you telling people? What advice, what are people calling the most for? Well, obviously there's a, a big level of concern. It's it's the prevention, um, but really when it comes down to it again is, is the building here is just not conducive for you know, holding those cold temperatures for such a sustained period of time with the hard freezes. So, um, you know, we get a lot of the, the stuff with, you know, what, what to put on uh, uh, the hose bibs and, and various things outside the house. But uh, really, by the time we're getting called, it's already a little bit too late. The damage so, is done. Yeah. Okay, so it's Tuesday right now. Tonight we're going to have freezing temps again, probably tomorrow night as well. Should people be trying to turn on that faucet or just leave them alone? We want to not touch them for the next couple days? Well, well we have to be very very careful with the, the usage because if seven and a half million people decide to go ahead and start running water, we can have issues on the municipal level. So trying to prioritize your, your water usage uh, throughout the day or even throughout the night. So I recommend if you have to get up and go to the bathroom at night to go ahead and you know use a different bathroom in, in the home. Just that way you're kind of you know using water in various different parts of the house. Um, if you can run your dishwasher because hot water has to be converted, that's cold water coming into your hot water heater and then running your dishwasher or maybe running a load of laundry at two or three in the morning. That way we're actually using that water and not just wasting it. Wow, right. okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really technical for people who don't know the, the simple basics. So yeah. um, another simple tip that you would give one of our viewers watching, because there are you have 24-hour services available. Correct. Um, but what is something simple they can do? I mean, is this just a wait and wait situation, wait till it warms up situation? Well, once, if a line freezes or you have something like that that happens, yes, you're, you're basically waiting and trying to extend that. That's where the professionals have to come in to try to help you out. Um, but again, identifying your home where you have maybe a faucet or uh, 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 plumbing on an outside wall, it could be a, a shower or tub or something like that, just running that water periodically throughout the day on and off again helps reset that process. That's all we're trying to do is extend that window out so that you know it, it allows us to get to the warmer portions of the day. So it's really the focus of from sun, sun, down, sun down to sun up. Well, we saw that uh, local emergency number. I always like when I see a local emergency number, not some 1-800 number. We put it up on your screen, 713-766-3605. And, of course, thank you so much, Mike Schur, for all the tips. Abacus Plumbing, all of these helpful tips are going to be on our website. So HoustonLife.tv, check for Abacus Plumbing on the scene on HL section. Very nice. And as you mentioned, prevention, you know, is, is worth its weight in gold, right? Yes. So even if you didn't prevent this time around, um, it's always, always a good reminder. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you.